Yo, we're back for another video, and yeah, by the title, this gonna be my struggle, the period where I'm struggling whilst on this recording journey. So yes, that would be this section of the vid video of this series or whatever. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, so my journey really started off well. The, me recording myself and my London Marathon journey really started around April slash May and the very big thing about this month is that it was the month of Ramadan and yes I was training and still doing everything I can whilst I was fasting which was it's something that I, I did like lockdown and even before I did I went on runs went to the gym and stuff like that but it's always like mentally taxing and I don't think I can really put into words the exact feeling you have when you do it. Finish. Just come up. My hair's a mess. It's day one. Day one of the of the journey complete the start of it wasn't that bad it was like it's just like preparing yourself mentally that you've got uh, you've got 30 days of just fasting until sunset and then you can and drink and do whatever okay so as you can see there's the laptop I have just signed up for the marathon uh, London marathon and we'll see where it goes from there I went here for a while that's the main thing I've been forgetting personally because I'm training exams I'm still a student so don't know so we'll see what happens for me done just on my cool down here back inside home I haven't said already, that's day four Not of Ramadan Not of the journey, I've started before but Day four complete For those who actually don't know What Ramadan is Ramadan is a uh, It's a month uh, In which Muslims take part in Where you fast Which is where you don't eat or drink From sunrise to sundown so when the sun it basically sets, you, that's when we're allowed to eat after we pray uh, or before we pray, depending on what you want to do, your preference. But always after uh, sunset, you can start eating, but then sunrise, you can't. And you do that for 30 days and that's how you do it. But yeah, so the start of it wasn't really that difficult it's just mentally preparing yourself that after the first few days you start realizing oh my god this is going to feel longer than i initially thought but then we come to mid of the month and yeah it was really tough at this point i started feeling it more and i started questioning why i was even doing this whether i should continue doing it whether i should give myself an extended break hey 13 14 that was tiring. That was a, I think that definitely is the most tiring I've had in a very long time. Sun's out and it's very hot. And this sun, there was no nice cool breeze. It was just all, all heat. And I always wear pretty much long sleeve. And then trying to just try to get a little bit of a burning moment. But that was, I could feel myself a little bit overheating. But yeah, how it goes. The rest of my day is pretty much the same as always. Just work, working on, on revision for my big exam. So yeah, let's see where we go from there. Day 27, starting. I already started. I just forgot to record the intro. That's fine. I didn't do my talk yesterday, so. Editing me might have a bit of fun, taking the piss out of me, but I'll have my talk today hopefully, so yeah. I'm just doing subs right now. Clips on my run. I had to 
start a bit early because I want an event to go to in the yard, so yeah, peace. So, thank you for your application and sharing your story with us. We really appreciate your patience whilst we reviewed all your our applications. We are delighted to offer you a British Heart Foundation charity place. It's incredible. So, yeah, that's all. I don't know where to go from here. We'll call them up, see what happens. I also need to pay an entry fee, but I'll have that ready by the due date, so yeah. So much more to go, um, so. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a, a long journey, but we'll get there. See you tomorrow. Eat, there's still one more day of Ramadan. Eat on Monday now, so there's still one more day. So, see you tomorrow, we're gonna do my Monday workout on Sunday. So, in here today and that could final day of Ramadan complete we're finished oh ho yeah just got done with some shadow boxing just getting a little bit of cool down in at the end of my workout bicep and tricep today because tomorrow's Eid I'll try to record you, but that's day 30 complete. Got way more to go before the main event if I'm in it. Still don't know. Line was closed, so I couldn't call in today. But yeah. Day 30 done. Let's go. After it was all done, I felt like the sense of accomplishment that I have completed the first hurdle in my journey. Which is pretty cool. Like, uh, you can see my reaction to when uh, it was the last day and I had done my workout and stuff and I re realised that it was over. The first part of, of, this, of this difficult cycle is done. Uh, then it was just a very fleeting moment, to say the least. But yeah, so basically for me, uh, the next part of my struggle was um, during a tough time for me, uh, it was basically exam period, I had my A-levels. Now I'm gonna just slightly touch on that. I was focusing more on my A-levels than I was on my marathon and training as I should. And don't get me wrong, I, I did pretty, I did decent, like, I, I did good, okay? I did alright, like, uh, it's just that whole thing with, like, I didn't do as well as I thought I did, but I still didn't do bad like I got pretty much all B's which is fine by me but it's still something like I thought I did a lot better than I did so it's just getting over that was like dealing with that knowing that I put in all this effort and I did well but I didn't do as well as I thought so that was just like a mental hurdle for me to get over but yeah that was all my struggles really and that was the first few months of my journey, just dealing with that, going over, running, keeping up my gym, keeping up my academics, things like that. So yeah, uh, next time I think you'll see me is uh, I'm gonna show you stuff that I did, uh, not during, after this time, which shows me I'm um, probably more of my personal life as I did go to Thought Park. So that's gonna be the next episode. Gonna be me, Thought Park, and probably uh, just a montage of me at prom as well. So yeah, I'll see you lot for that video. Peace. Also, I forgot to say I'm editing the video right now, but I forgot to say uh, a couple things. Donate using the link in the description. 
uh, check out my socials, all of that. On TikTok, I'm doing some daily advice, so check that out in the description as well. Also, my friend has uploaded a Pro Club documentary, as you can see here. That's the channel. I'll put a link in the description, go check it out. I am in it, so yeah, go check that out in the link in the description. Check all socials, all of that. Peace, see you for the next episode.